in the realm of Eldoria, where legends were born and epic tales unfolded like the unfurling of ancient scrolls, stood the great castles of the past. These majestic fortresses, each with its own storied history and grandeur, adorned the landscape like sentinels of a bygone era, whispering secrets of kings and knights long gone. One such castle was the citadel of Avaloria, perched upon a towering cliff overlooking the vast expanse of the Emerald Sea. Its soaring spires, crowned with banners bearing the proud sigil of the noble House of Avalon, reached towards the heavens, casting shadows that danced upon the waves below. Legends spoke of the ancient magic that dwelled within its walls, a potent force that had safeguarded the kingdom for centuries against the tides of war and darkness. Within the castle's hallowed halls, tapestries adorned with scenes of valiant battles and noble deeds adorned the walls, while the air hummed with the whispers of courtiers and the clang of swords in the training yard. At the heart of the citadel stood the throne room, where the kings and queens of Avaloria held court, their regal presence commanding the respect of all who entered. Yet, across the realm, nestled amidst the verdant embrace of the enchanted forests, lay the sylvan keep. Its walls, intertwined with ivy and moss, seemed to blend seamlessly with the natural beauty that surrounded it, a testament to the harmony between civilization and wilderness. Within its confines dwelled the elves, a graceful and enigmatic race whose mastery of archery and nature magic was renowned throughout the land. The Sylvan Keep was not merely a fortress, but a sanctuary, a place of refuge for those who sought solace amidst the chaos of the outside world. Here, the elves lived in harmony with the forest, their bond with the land ensuring that the keep remained hidden from all but those who were deemed worthy of its secrets. rugged mountains of the north, amidst the swirling mists and biting winds, stood the Frost Citadel. Carved from glacial ice that never melted, its towering spires gleamed like diamonds in the pale light of dawn. Built by the stalwart dwarven clans to defend against the relentless onslaught of winter storms and marauding giants, the Citadel was a testament to the indomitable spirit of its creators. Within its icy halls, the dwarves toiled ceaselessly, their forges blazing with the heat of a thousand suns as they crafted weapons and armor of unparalleled quality. Yet, amidst the clang of hammers on anvil and the roar of the forge fires, there was also laughter and song, for the dwarves knew that even in the harshest of environments, there was still joy to be found. Further south, amidst the shifting sands of the desert, rose the Sunspire Palace, a marvel of golden architecture that gleamed like a beacon in the harsh sunlight. Home to the noble house of R.A., its walls held the secrets of forgotten empires and the wisdom of ancient sages who had sought enlightenment beneath the blazing desert sky. Here, amidst the shimmering heat haze and swirling sands, the people of the desert thrived their lives shaped by the rhythm of the sun and the ever-changing landscape. Yet, 
Despite the harshness of their environment, they remained resilient, their spirits unbroken by the trials of their existence. Perhaps the most legendary of all the great castles was the Citadel of Dragons, hidden within the fiery depths of a dormant volcano. Here, the Dragon Lords ruled with wisdom and strength, their bond with the mighty beasts ensuring the safety and prosperity of their realm. Tales spoke of the vast hordes of treasure that lay within its vaults, guarded by the fearsome dragons who called the Citadel home. To approach the Citadel of Dragons was to court danger, for the very earth seemed to tremble beneath the weight of its presence, and the air crackled with the raw power of ancient magic. Yet, for those brave enough to venture within its walls, the rewards were great indeed, for within the Citadel lay the keys to unlocking the mysteries of the past and shaping the destiny of the future. As time passed and kingdoms rose and fell, the great castles of the past remained as symbols of a bygone age, their stories woven into the fabric of history for generations to come. Though their walls may crumble and their halls may echo with the whispers of ghosts, the spirit of their greatness would live on, forever etched into the hearts of those who dared to dream of a world where legends walked among men. And so, the tales of the great castles of the past would endure passed down from generation to generation, a testament to the enduring power of the human spirit and the timeless allure of adventure and romance.